I am sure you're gonna have a lot to talk about. Before you jump to the conclusion of this topic, let's discuss about it. Because I have maybe a controversial point of view on this. It's not furries, it's not furries, it's not kinks. Has the internet made us smarter or just louder? In my own experience, I use a lot the internet, of course, like uh, look at the phone for my work. And then if we want to go deep dive, we can talk a lot more about like how AI and I'm talking like the superficial level of AI, right? I'm talking about ChatGPT. I'm not talking about the cool shit that can happen behind the scenes with AI. For example, something that I noticed now, it's uh, whenever I do a search on Google, how do I do this thing? And the first result, which is was never the one that I always picked because it was either sponsored or like it was never like the exact one. Now it's AI generated and it's exactly the answer to what I was asking and that makes me think okay I have a super useful tool in my hands which allows me to get an answer right away but I am missing the part where I'm like searching for it and like trying to find it but at the same time is it telling me I studied AI right as I have a master in data science so I know how AI works but I'm wondering is that answer that is, has been given me better than if I only looked at one article upon that thing what's the best way of cooking eggs right what AI would do will find like all the articles will put them together find like a combination of like what seems to be the best one what seems the worst one and then most probably it will present to you different ways instead if you click only on one article you find just one best way of how to cook the best egg. So I feel like in some way it has made me smarter. In some others, less because I search less. Information is more accessible. Some things are easier. Critical thinking is absolutely awful. That is something. That's why like when you look at, for example, classes, right? There is a lot of professors that complain about like, oh, my students are using AI. And I'm thinking if I was in school right now, fuck those essays. I hated writing essays. It was terrible to write those essays. I was crying every single time we had a test with the essays. So I would definitely be using AI right now if I was in school. But if I was a professor, I would teach my students critical thinking, which is the most important thing that I was not taught back then. Therefore, I have issues maybe now. It depends because what Gemini's AI does at the beginning of the search is to gather information about the sites that is then suggest to you. ChatGPT is doing the same now. There is a line between smarter and educated. True. I feel like there is uh, right now more than ever, we should teach in school critical thinking, understanding uh, how to differentiate deep fakes. My God, the other day, I, my mom was watching a, a reel and it was how to knit a specific uh, sweater. And she was like, oh, look how good it looks on these people. And they were clearly AI people with that thing on. I was like, mom, that's AI generated. It's like, oh, you think so? I don't think so. Who cares? They look good. Yeah, but it's AI generated. So of course it looks good. It's in the prompt that it has to look good. That's exactly what you want to hear from a surgeon before surgery. <laughs> Do you think we will ever get to the point where like surgeons will have to search with AI how to do a specific surgery? Does an encyclopedia help you be smarter? If you burn it to keep warm, maybe not. An encyclopedia, does it actually keep you smarter? Because if you think about it, encyclopedias, or if you have one source of information, it's way easier that it is filtered, right? Imagine if you have a history book. There is that history that is presented to you in that specific way and you're studying only from that book only. Jaffo said like the history book usually has sources. Sources could also be filtered. Why you go to school if you will use AI to write your work? Think AI will graduate instead of you and work instead of you? AI is just a tool to cut time. If you use it, it replaces you. Good luck with your future. When they introduced calculators. People started to stop using like uh, to do like some specific things with their hand, like in, in their minds uh, on with their hands on a piece of paper. And they started to use the calculator as a tool to then uh, improve their calculations further on, right? So they don't have to think about anymore about the sinus and cosinus uh, of uh, a specific angle because they just press a button and they have it. And th there we go. That's the sinus and cosinus. And then the calculation can be brought further on. AI should be used in the same way. I think that it's uh, professors that should improve their teaching. They should find other things to teach, not just the things that we have a tool for. Of course, when you're learning about calculations, the sum, the multiplication, before starting doing it with a calculator, you start doing it by yourself. You have to learn to do it by yourself first, right? Now we have a lot of like those kind of type, like vibe coding kind of thing. But I strongly believe that before you get into vibe coding, you should know a little bit of the basis of it, the structure and knowing where you're going with your vibe coding. The problem is people don't care about facts and want easy answers. And they'll just believe the first thing they read that aligns with their point of view. That 
is a big problem. But there, Jalford, I feel like now we have even more information, right? So it's easier to have something that will agree with you, right? Because you can find whatever on the internet. But at the same time, we had that issue already in the past. There were newspapers that were writing bullshit. More accessible information that aren't shadow banned by AI are accessible. What if some information aren't real? Let's talk about Expedia or Grok or not really free AI. Who really controls the information you get access to? That is a problem. AI will take a lot of jobs, but also it will make people who work physically jobs richer. AI will take a lot of jobs. I don't think it is necessarily a bad thing. It's a matter of like development of the human species. Development in worse and in better ways, but still development. When supermarkets were invented and created and decided to create this uh, mass consumeristic way of like dealing with things, so all the small shops just collapsed. It was a type of development. Those people that had the small shops had to develop, had to find a way to find something else to do. And I know that it's difficult when we're talking about specific jobs because it's difficult to like okay i used to do this job and now they don't need me at all anymore like copywriters there used to be a lot of copywriters all the website had people writing things for their blogs for their home page for everything they had people just writing down stuff that was their job now it's so easy to just have it from ai just ai write something about this thing and then done and you put it there you just fix it a little and it's right there AI itself currently does not have the critical ability to understand which information is reliable or not. True. It decides from which site to take the information. Yeah, it compares like where are the information from and which ones are more credited for. Long-term AI impacts will be socially corrosive. It will erode trust and cognitive function. AI images will be a huge problem. Oh, that's for sure. Like every time I see an image or a video and I'm like, oh hold on i've been bamboozled once i don't know if you've seen those videos there's like a video of like rabbits on a trampoline and it seems that they've been shot like from a security camera and at the very beginning i was like oh and then i looked at the comments like oh my god this is ai what i was like I've been bamboozled. I would have 100% believed this. So like every time that now something, a video or something, it's nice. It's too nice to be true. I'm like, is it AI or what? This is just for like image creation. But regarding like if I'm getting smarter, I don't know. I use AI way too much probably. I use AI for most of my emails. Like I have AI integrated in my email software. Like I have to send an email just to say, hey, hello, have you read my email? I just open the email i write ping and it write the emails for me and it sends i save so much time but at the same time what i do i always check the emails back and something that i've learned is by correcting the ai i think that i've become more confident in how i write because i've seen more emails right now if i had to write an email i feel like i would have a better way of using words because i see so many examples you have no idea how many times i've been looking on the internet for examples of emails on how do i say this in an in a email how do i do this in an email and there were no answers a search engine is already capable of hiding results true there are five six companies in the world that control ai and consequently the information you have access to if you enter a bubble you'll never know if there's a truth beyond your bubble a a very big problem with the internet even before ai was the filter bubble the filter bubble is like when you go on the internet let me give you an example first when trump was going for the um, elections the very first time was it 2016 i remember watching on the social medias videos and people were making fun of him all the content that i had on my for you page was all about how dumb he was that thing that stupid thing that he said all of it and then i was sure why is he even trying like bro he's definitely not gonna win i was so sure he was going to lose because of the filter bubble that I was in, in the social medias. And then he won. How is this even possible? I haven't seen anyone rooting for him. And I understood. That is exactly the filter bubble. I kept seeing videos that were just supporting my initial idea. And that is a huge problem. Because you keep on seeing things that are going to be like, yep, yep, you're right. Yep, 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 you're right. Well, we all know that the best way to grow is just talking with people with different ideas from ours that's why i always push people to like talk to someone with a different point of view you might not change your idea but you at least got another point of view that is different from yours you get a little bit outside of your filter bubble when was the last time chat that you actually changed your mind because of something that you saw online i really don't know i feel like i'm generally quite open to changing my mind where new good data is presented mm -hmm. do you think that we are better informed right now or 10 years ago and do you think we are smarter now or 10 years ago 
You think we were better informed 10 years ago? Hold on, hold on. Let's say more than 10. Let's say 20. There was still globalization, but a, bit, a little bit less. And maybe communication was a bit less and like social medias were less. I feel like with the globalization, we had a lot of issues, but we had the fact that a lot of information were faster to reach. So like if something bad was happening in some places, we, we wouldn't know right away back then. I'm thinking Twitter. Yeah, some of them are bad information but some of them like we got them all just because of social medias because maybe government would not have released those kind of informations think about north korea 20 years ago i don't know how much an average person knew about it and still now we know definitely like a little bit not not too much of it because all the videos on youtube are very much scripted by the government because they will allow you to go into north korea you have to go in with their own train and then you have to get to the specific hotel you're always followed there's a lot of very cool videos about it but still like you get to see some things and those people still post some parts of the videos that are like never seen before and they get informations out back 20 years ago how would they have shared that maybe on tv would they have shared that on tv as a documentary i don't know yeah but now if something happens narratives immediately spin out misinformation and people walk away with the complete opposite of the past that is also a big problem because of course there is more informations coming out but there's also fake informations and it's very difficult to understand which one is the right one so what should we do should we believe only the things that we see with our own eyes how much of it can we actually see with our own eyes because even if i started searching for sources how would i know that those sources are correct that they were not influenced by something else even if the the source is a good one how do i know everyone does mistakes there are trustworthy sources and sources you can cross check to a certain fact is not that hard our brains are really worried for globalization nowadays for the information we consume and deal with our brains are still too primitive and wired for smaller tribes and communities sort of environmental or and not an entire world of information so it's tricky it's definitely tricky i feel that our brains got to be lazier than 20 years ago and i think that is highly influenced by social media's high and quick reward system and i see it in myself like uh, i am too lazy to read an article i have a, an italian channel an italian youtube channel where i talk about things and sometimes i i like to like understand a little bit more like in the previous one i talked about uh, the prefrontal cortex and how it's still developing in our 20s and for that i read an article that was talking about it. Maybe I was lazy because I read only one, but it was a scientific one, so I expected to be a good one. Of course, people change based on what we have. We were bigger and stronger in the far past because we literally had to fight for our lives to eat and survive, to, so we needed it. Now, DoorDash, fast food, supermarket, etc. Yeah, our lives are definitely easier. And it's upon us to find a way to make this a way of humans upgrading and not just settling. We're talking about, oh, it's so bad, it's so bad, but we're forgetting about the democratization, democratization, democrat, Listen, the, the, the knowledge is free for all. Okay, the internet is not free. You can find uh, places with Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi sometimes. But in general, like knowledge, it's getting easier access with the free courses, with the YouTube videos. So in a certain way, we are blessed because of the internet. I feel like everything changed when companies realized they could make money out of the internet. I know that now more people get to have a job because of social medias and everything, but I strongly believe money corrupts everything. Notice how everything changed when money started to flood the platforms. Reward system to keep away inside platforms, ads everywhere, clickbait titles, so people click on things. The ensuification sadly, sadly started when the internet became a business for me. At the same time, think about that amazing podcast that you love or that person that what's the name of coffee zilla michael reeves think about those amazing youtube videos they would not be there if there was not money on the platform because those people could not afford to do that and tvs maybe would not have given them a shot this was a good conversation. Let me know what you think. Also, maybe chat had a time to like explain to me here in chat what they thought. If you had other ideas, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next uh, talk throughout an IRL. We should give a name to this kind of formats. Not today though. Bye.